Remember that time in Age of Ultron where we almost got the Grey Hulk? But then, due to audience test screenings, the audience got confused because they didn't understand that the Hulk actually has different colors. So in post-production, they removed it and ended up removing all of the scenes of the Grey Hulk and changing him back to green. This involved also removing the entire Grey Hulk subplot. Well, all hopes aren't to be abandoned because Mark Ruffalo says they could revisit that idea in the future. All right, quick rant here to begin. How stupid of a test audience do you have to be if Age of Ultron literally had a subplot that reportedly featured about 10 minutes and explained why Hulk turned gray and suddenly you didn't understand it so they had to rip it out of the movie. But yeah, um, it was a thing in there, and I guess test audiences didn't understand this, so that's why it was removed. Recently speaking with Entertainment Weekly, Mark Ruffalo was asked about the subplot in Age of Ultron, the visual effects, how far they got done, and of course, did Grey Hulk officially get shelved forever? He said no. Um, essentially, the audiences just didn't understand it at the time, it felt a little too complex. So when they had the Grey Hulk, who slowly got more Grey and then was full-on Grey Hulk in Avengers Age of Ultron in the battle versus the Hulkbuster, audiences just got confused. They didn't understand why Hulk got grayer and grayer and why he effectively got pure Grey with almost like bloodshot red eyes. They didn't understand it's connected to him getting stronger and madder and what they were doing. So ultimately, after those screenings, they went back and they changed the trajectory and took out the explanation of why this happens and decided to not overpower Hulk to that degree because, again, the audiences just didn't like it. He says that there's still possibilities that they could revisit this because the idea is there. And now audiences are a little bit more understanding of these bigger concepts and twists and turns. Unlike back then when it was still a insane concept to think of like multiverses, for example, right? Like it's slowly something that's becoming more mainstream now where everybody gets it. So it does sound like that maybe they could explore this. And he did hint that in the future, there is possibilities that we could see something like a Grey Hulk if they do a giant Hulk uh, thing, whatever that means. He did name drop World War Hulk and things like that. And also talked about other versions of Hulk, you know, Joe Fix-It, Berserker Hulk, all as examples that are things that could be explored. But again, it's all going to depend on the direction and do the fans understand what they're going for. And from the sounds of it, the Age of Ultron plot would have just included Hulk turning gray and them explaining that this is uncontrolled rage. Like, he gets so angry that it almost pulls all the pigment out of him because it all needs to be focused on pure strength and going ballistic. Which, honestly, is a pretty easy explanation and easy thing to understand. So, yeah, just bring it back. <laughs> 